Dead Rising's original zombie slayer, Frank West, is something of a rock star. After surviving insurmountable odds in Willamette, the rampaging photojournalist is back on the prowl in Case West. With new enemies, a new setting, and more cooperative play, is this standalone bit of DLC worth investigating? Look, I need proof, damn it. I've got to clear my name. Immediately following the events of Dead Rising 2, Case West partners Frank with Chuck Green as they infiltrate the Phenotrans facility, an industrial warehouse full of secrets surrounding the outbreak. It's a bleak departure for the series, devoid of outdoor environments, as well as the more colorful locales of its prior settings. If you haven't eradicated The Walking Dead in Las Vegas, the game's half-hearted attempt to bring you up to speed won't quite do the trick. That said, it doesn't detract from what you're here to do, which is to kill everything that walks. Don't expect any big changes to the gameplay or overall structure. You have to abide by the ticking clock as you make your way through three separate cases. Though Case West generously starts you out at level 40, with plenty of health and item stocks to help you get your hands dirty. In between the story-specific missions, you're granted the freedom to explore, rescue the uninfected, create unique weapons, and most important, spill copious amounts of blood. The onslaught you'll contend with includes more than just The Walking Dead. Hostile groups of fellow humans also roam the open areas, attacking you on site to impede your progress. Most annoying of all are the heavy security officers that carry automatic rifles with their pinpoint accuracy and unbelievable range. Trying to maneuver through zombies without a weapon is difficult enough. Doing so while getting shot in the back is utterly infuriating. It bears mention that the only way to play as Frank West is by joining another player's co-op game. If you're playing solo, you're Chuck by default. The co-op play basically involves killing side by side, so don't expect much in the way of cooperative mechanics beyond reviving down partners with food. Certain specific flaws, like your inability to advance through doorways without your partner being nearby, will prove frequently annoying, and the decision to make Frank effectively immortal in co-op play is baffling. Using him as a target dummy is a common, if not humorously broken, tactic. Dead Rising's strengths aren't lost on Case West. The appeal of creatively eradicating the undead remains undeniable. Drab environment and co-op hiccups aside, there's plenty to enjoy in the three-hour campaign to make it worth a $10 asking price. If you're new to the series, this is a decent way to see what it's all about. Ah! Ah!